Hi, my name is Gage Allen. I'm the CEO of Lottoms Inc. and I'm also the writer and director for Containment Breach Run. Containment Breach Run is the first officially licensed live action promo for SCP Containment Breach. The game, SCP Containment Breach, is an indie survival horror game developed by Jonas Rikkonen. It takes place in an underground facility run by the SCP Foundation, a very top secret hidden organization that hunts down and tracks anomalies to house and research later. These anomalies are known as SCPs. Some SCPs are safe, and others are the deadliest things on Earth. In the game, you play as a Class D, the expendable guinea pigs that the SCP Foundation uses to test on these anomalies, and a containment breach in shoes. So, you as the character and the player must now try and find a way to escape the facility and get out of this living hell that you've been trapped into. The game went increasingly viral in 2012 and received press coverage from some of the biggest gaming news sites around. It got on the top 100 list for the best free indie games as well as the top 100 list for some of the best horror games out there. The game was well known for being able to deliver the SCP Foundation lore as well as being able to deliver unique mechanics such as blinking and some of the moving statues that are in there. This game is very personal to me because it helped me establish myself as a filmmaker and become pretty notable for creating video game trailers. I actually launched my end of the career for that. Hi, I'm, uh, I'm Jason Daniel and I play uh, Gonzalez, who is a, is a janitor um, in this, this facility in the game. A lot of people, you know, will probably wonder, you know, how I got in, how I got involved in this. And, and the simple answer, the short answer is, is I answered a Craigslist. <laughs> You know, um, I'm an actor, been acting for a few years, and, and that's how I get most of my jobs. I had never heard of SCP. I really didn't know anything about it. Um, I was kind of told about it. The original idea was very interesting just from the fact that it's indie. Okay? It's, it's something that's independent. Um, it's something that's um, grassroots, I guess. You know, it comes from the ground up. It's, it's success is based on actual people liking something rather than somebody telling me that people like something right okay well that that again that sounds that sounds cool that sounds up my alley um in 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 trying to reveal things that are beyond what you can see right and whether it's fiction or fantasy it doesn't you know it doesn't really matter it's a whole idea of trying to make people think my name is doug hudson i'm a special effects makeup artist Owner of CloneEffects.com. Got to have the .com nowadays because everything's done done online. <laughs> uh, I've been doing uh, makeup effects and animatronics for oh since 1992, so quite a long time. I've worked in uh, Hollywood for a good 15 years on major major motion pictures. A lot, you know, like Jurassic Park, Lost World, uh, uh, Batman Begins, uh, The Grinch. Cat in the Hat, tons and tons of stuff. I left Hollywood and moved to Seattle about four years ago uh, because nowadays you don't have to be in Hollywood to, to do what you love in film. Uh, film sort of everywhere. And I uh, sort of uh, joined the local film community up here and that's how I got approached to be part of this project. It, it had the, the basic, uh, you know, what you expect from a horror type game, but uh, so, something a little odd about it, you know, uh, like, like the statue and uh, some of the other stuff was just a little a little creepier, a little more <laughs> off kilter, <laughs> you know. So I was really excited to uh, sort of delve into these characters too, to bring them to life. You know, well, Doug Doug Hudson has 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 agreed to to, to do the makeups, and I'm like, and effects basically. And I'm like that that sounds kind of familiar. And I've worked with some pretty pretty cool makeup people, quite quite honestly. The um, and some of the projects, uh, one, the, the lead makeup guy for the Oscar winning for, 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 you know, for Star Trek, the, you know, the J.J. Abrams reboot, that, that, that design team, I've worked with them, and, you know, and I'm like, I like working with, with people who are professional, so I'm like, I'll go look him up. So I go and I, I, I look up um, Doug on the internet, you know, type it in, go to IMDB, and I'm like going down the IMDB page, and I'm like, wow. I didn't know it was that level, bro. I just did. I, I had. I had no clue. I really didn't. And it's like I had already committed to this. And it's just like it just keeps getting better and better and better. I just did a promo uh, for PAX for The Evil Within, where we recreated uh, uh, some of those characters in a live-action event for, to promote that game for its release party. And uh, so it was like perfect timing. I was sort of already in that mode. The aspect that is exciting to me about working on SCP is that 
it's all local. You know, we're doing local things. It's 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 a Washington thing. It's 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 people that are around me. It's 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 people that are in my community. It's people that I want to see become more successful. And yet, at the same time, I'm talking to the world. That's awesome. There's there's absolutely no other way to describe that. Just right off the bat, how how it's. You know, originally it was one guy's vision, one guy's game, but it became so much more than that over fans and people getting involved and uh, more input, you know, over the internet community. And it's sort of in, evolved into this, you know, phenomena that's like nothing else I've seen. Uh, so in that right by itself, it's, it's its own thing. You know, it's not like anything else I've ever worked on. And this game gets lots of people together to care about something. And that's the basis of how we build civilizations, really. So we all care about the same thing. And it's great that we all care about a game rather than caring about destroying that tribe. Or how much food we're going to get, right? Or if we're going to survive the winter, right? This is why people got together before. And now we get together to play games and to create rules and to create experiences virtually in non-linear time. Yeah, I mean, how could I, you know, how can I not? And then and the other people that are involved from, you know, from uh, amazing composers and, and, and visual effects artists and all, all those individual people who, who, who made the SCPs. Um, created the articles and they're all on board and they're giving you more information and it's just it's it it's a big feeling it's a big feeling and 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 if it feels like the right thing to do right that's that's really all all that is it's like how could i how could i not do it they're all like your favorite projects because you know you, you're creating something you're giving birth to it uh so it goes through its process this project has something really special about it it's something that everyone on the team can really see and notice, and that's what, because we're trying to do something that's almost impossible, and we're actually doing it. That's that's the that's the cool thing is that we're actually doing something that should be impossible to do, and that's that's something everyone on the team understands. Everyone that's on board knows this, and there's a spark that everyone can feel. They can feel the heat of, and that's why everyone's either working for free or working for almost nothing. There's all these hugely talented people that are, you know, they, they're coming on board this project for free, which is almost impossible in any other setting because they think it's cool and they actually believe in it. And that's something that we really do. We believe in this project. You know, I, I'll, I hate false modesty, right? I hate the people who are going to come up and it's like, I am so honored that you have chosen me to, you know, do this. And I'm, you know, and it's like, I don't buy, you know, most time I don't buy it. I don't buy it when someone says they're honored that, you, you know, it's like, but I am, <laughs> you know what I mean? And I feel cheesy saying it right? because I am, because I think it's that big.